With Marty Viral, Marty, not only does Kucherov lead the league with seven goals, he's been a Leaf killer. 44 points in just 35 career games <laughs> against them. The Leafs got Chris Tana for exactly this type of matchup. How do you like his chances against Kucherov tonight? Well, I think one-on-one, -on -one, it's very hard to defend against Kucherov, but if you use everybody on the ice and Tanev is the leader, I think it can be done. When I look at Nikita, Nikita Kucherov this year, yes, he has seven goals. Two of those are empty netters, so take that away. One's a power play goal, so he's got four even strength goals. One he shot from the corner off of Vegas skates, and then the other three, he barely touched the puck. Like, he was set up by other players. So how do you defend against Nikita Kucherov if you're the Toronto Maple Leafs? You defend away from the puck. When Kucherov doesn't have the puck, that's when he's at his most dangerous because he's so slippery. He comes in in areas where you don't think he's going to be, and boom, the puck's on his stick, and then it's on net or in the back of the net. So I think you have to be careful. Braden Point loves to have the puck and cycle and make plays. Jake Gunsel, uh, Gensel is, is obviously somebody that's new to Tampa, but he likes to also have the puck. I think Kucherov, away from the play, is where you have to defend. You always have to know where he's at. And he comes in very quickly into the scoring areas. You know who else likes the Leafs' Tampa matchup? Austin Matthews. Matthews has an almost identical <laughs> yeah. stat line against the Lightning. 43 points in 35 career games, including the playoffs. So, Kucherov or Matthews, which player do you think is set for the bigger night tonight? Well, I'm going to pick Austin Matthews. I think Kucherov has had a fantastic start, but I still look at Matthews and say, hey, okay, Kucherov has got seven goals. I'm, uh, I'm a few goals behind here. I got to catch up. So this is the type of matchup where Matthews is going to want to shoot seven, eight, nine times on net. He's going to want to get opportunities on the power play. Uh, sometimes there's such a goalie that you, even though Vasilevsky is one of the best in the world, sometimes you look at that goalie and say, I know where the holes are. I can get. Uh, to the back of the net. So obviously, I think Matthews is definitely wanting to uh, to take an opportunity, take advantage of the matchup. But it is fantastic to see how the Leafs, not only their top players right now in Nylander and Matthews and Marner have done great, but the depth of the forward group has done great. And that really helps Matthews also because now if you're Tampa, you have to worry about McMahon and about others on the roster that it's not just about focusing on one, where I think that Tampa has been their top guns the depth has not done as well. So I think Matthews is going to enjoy maybe a little freedom on the ice tonight. You mentioned Vasilevsky. What about Stolarz? Huge stage tonight. Just one game. Everybody's watching. How important is this yep. game for him, given what happened against Shesterkin on Saturday night? Obviously, every time you play the top competition, like playing Vasilevsky in my days, it was if I played Patrick Waugh or Marty Brodeur or even Dominic Ashek, which I was a teammate of for many years, uh, you, you get up for that. Although the cliche and the goalies are going to say, I'm not stopping their shots, right? But it's still, it's the competition. It's goalie versus goalie. So I think that for Stolarz, not only are you facing Vasilevsky, you're facing Tampa, who's got a lot of really good players, and they've had a very, very good start. So uh, knowing that at the start of the season or even in preseason, you probably look at the games in the month of October and say, I don't know if I'm going to play this Monday night against Tampa. I don't know if I'm going to get the marquee matchups. Stolarz is getting the marquee matchups now because Wool has been injured, but he's also playing really well and he wants to keep it going. So I think this is a, a fantastic opportunity for Stolarz to show again why he can compete for a number one spot in Toronto. A couple of things to keep in mind while Kucherov racked up five goals and 13 points in their last five head-to-head -head meetings with the Leafs. The Lightning still lost three of those five games.